Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to tell you how you can import and export your WooCommerce products. Now there are some plugins available for you to do this job, but I have found one of the best plugins that you can use. But before I show you that, let me show you how you can do it directly from WordPress. My name is Ryan Ruby from LearnWoo and without any further ado, let's get started. So first I'm going to show you how to export using WordPress. I'm going to go step by step so you can understand me better, right? Step 1, go to the website from which you want to export your products from. Once you're on the website, go to the back end of the website. Now step 2, go to products and click on all products. Now once you click all products, you can see you can go on a different page and there are three options, add new, import and export. And since I'm going to talk to you how to export, click on export. And once you click on export, you're on a different page. Scroll all the way down until you see a checkbox called export all custom meta. Click that checkbox and then generate your CSV. Congratulations, you have exported your products. Now all you have to do is import it to your new website, which I will show you right now. So to import, you have to follow the same three steps that we did for exporting, except this time after you click on all products, this time you have to click on import instead of export. Let's count that as step 1. Now step 2 would be to upload the CSV file that we got from exporting. And step 3, click on continue and then check out all the options that you're getting there and fill them to your preferences. And after you've done that, go ahead and run the importer. And there we go. That's it. It was that simple. Now if you go to your website right now and check all the products, you will find all your products there. Now we know how to import and export using WordPress, now let me tell you about this plugin called WebTofi. It looks like this and people prefer using this plugin because of its features like being able to export tags, templates, being able to include or exclude your products, column selection and etc. Let's begin with export. To export, click on export under WebTofi. And once you're there, select the post type as product. Now here we have two export methods to choose from. One is quick export which exports all your basic field and the other one is advanced export. Now this will take us through column selection, saving template, being able to export tags, include or exclude products. This is basically advanced type of exporting. Name gives it away. Now once you click on advanced export, your next step would be to check out all the options like number of products you want to export, specific products that you want to export and you can fill all those options to your liking and to your preferences. And once you've done that, go to the next step. Now, you would be at column selections. These column names are your headers in the CSV. You can change them to your liking, but we are gonna skip this and go to the next step. Now here you can save the template if you want to and then click on export. And once you've done that, you have exported all your products into a CSV file. Now, let's see how you can import using the same plugin. To import using WebTofi, you have to click on import under the WebTofi import export option and once you've done that, let's count that as step 1. Step 2 would be to select the import type as products. Click on next and here we have the same two options. Now you have to choose the same options that you did for exporting. For example, I chose advanced so I will choose say advanced for importing. And once you chose your option, the next would be to upload the CSV file that we got from exporting. Move on to the next step, here we have CSV column names. Once you've checked all that, done all that, click on next. Here you have options to skin new products, match products with their ID or school, and even have an option to update or replace existing products. Now you can save this template if you want to, and then click on import. And we're done with import. You can also check this on the history tab, that Tofi has a history tab on itself, where it shows all your previous imports and exports. You can even delete or rerun the process. And that was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found what you were looking for in this video and if you did, I'm glad to have helped. Now if you have any questions or want us to cover any other topic, please let us know in the comments below. My name is Nayan Robi from LearnWoo and I'll see you again in the next video.